How to turn a circle into a plate in Blender. Create the circle. To do this, make sure you are on the Layout tab in Object Mode, and then hold down the Shift key and tap the A key. This will open a menu for all the things you can add to Blender. The circle is under Mesh, so move your mouse down to Highlight Mesh, then move it over to Circle and left-click on that. Now that you have a circle to work with, zoom in on it so you can see it well. Select it if it isn't selected and change from Object to Edit Mode. Now that you are in Edit Mode, make sure that you have Select Vertices active rather than Select Edges or Select Faces. Circles are just a ring of vertices. There aren't any faces yet. And while you can do the following steps with edges as well as vertices, vertices tend to be a little easier to work with for most people. Make sure you do not have snapping or proportional editing active. They should be gray, not blue. If they are blue, click on them to turn them gray. In edit mode, it's always faster to use hotkey. However, if you can't remember them, or for some reason you can't use them, there is a toolbar down the left side. If you will hover your mouse over them, you'll see what they are for. For this tutorial, we are just going to leave the Select Box tool selected and use hotkeys. To make sure all of the vertices in the circle are selected, hit the A key to select all. You should see a brightly colored orange circle with no black bits on it. Black is the color of unselected vertices or edges. Bright orange is the color of selected vertices or edges. When working with multiple objects, you might see dark orange. That means whatever you have selected isn't your master object, but don't worry about that for now. Now that you are in edit mode and all of your vertices are selected, it's time to do the first extrusion. To do this and not mess it up, take your hand off the mouse. In fact, put your hand in your lap. Now hit the E key and immediately hit the Z key. The circle still looks the same, but now you have a blue line running through the middle. That is your Z axis. This means that when you move the mouse, the extrusion will move straight up or straight down on the Z axis. Put your hand back on the mouse now, but do not click. Just push the mouse away from you a bit to make the vertices extrude up, or pull the mouse toward you a bit to make them extrude down. For this tutorial, we want them to go up. Once the new wall, or the side of the plate, that you are creating is the height you want it. Left click to disengage from the extrude. Making a bit of a lip on the top of the wall, or the side of the plate, requires another extrude, but this time, Instead of moving the vertices on an axis, we just want to scale them. Take your hand off the mouse again, and once you aren't touching it, hit E for extrude, and immediately hit S for scale. Again, the only thing that seems to change is not the object, but an indicator. You should now see a dotted black line with a two-way arrow on the end. You now can scale the vertices in or out. However, as the vertices are simply one-dimensional points on the XYZ grid, they do not get any larger or smaller, but the circle they are part of will. Now put your hand back on the mouse and move it slightly. For this tutorial, what you want is to make a bit of an edge going out away from the wall or the edge of the plate, not going in toward the center. Once it is as large as you want it, left-click to disengage from the scale function. Repeat step five and six a couple more times. Now we need to give the plate a bottom. To do this first, we need to select all of the vertices around the bottom edge of what is now our plate. These are the vertices we started with, the original circle. But now we can't just hit the A key as that will select all the vertices on the entire object, not just the original ones. Adjust your view so you can either see into the plate from above or you can see the bottom from below. To start, left-click in an empty area of the workspace to deselect everything, and then hold down the Alt key and left-click 
on one of the vertices of the original circle. This will cause the entire original circle to become selected. Once they are selected, just hit the F key to create a face in the area they surround. Obviously, this object you have just created is a little bit thin and will probably not look right unless you are rendering a view that mostly looks down inside it. However, making it thicker or doing other things with it is out of scope for this tutorial. Now it's time for you to explore on your own.